Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd make a video on a fun tactic that my team did in a 4v4 this uh, this last weekend. Um, I've got Germania, and I'm opposite uh, Thrace, who's hiding in the woods, commanded by Barclay Man. And one of the weaknesses that everybody knows about Thrace, especially uh, compared to most 31k factions, is that they have really low morale. And one of the strengths of Germania is that they have Berserkers. And you'll notice next to me, uh, my ally SR has War Elephants. Those are another unit that has the fear effect. And then next to him, we've got Spark, who has Chariots. They also cause fear. So what I said to my allies is, I'm going to run at Barkleyman right away. Now you two run your elephants and your chariots next to Barkley Man. And these three units, the Berserkers, Elephants, and Chariots, all have distinct fear penalties. They're not the same uh, fear penalty. Like if I had Berserkers and Night Raiders, that wouldn't stack because it's the same, it's the same penalty, uh, intimidated by near nearby enemy, or something like that. But uh, yeah, these three penalties are actually distinct. So we're going to have a triple fear effect, and then I'm thinking, that combined with the fact that Thrace is already a low morale faction, I'm just going to mass charge um, like one or two units with the cavalry, and hopefully that will set off a mass route chain reaction. That's the idea, so we'll see how that goes. Here, here's Barkley, man. He's in the woods, and I want to I wanna cut him off before he has the chance to uh, unite with Earth over here. It's a good thing that Earth's going this way. One thing is on this map, there's a slight uh, uh, incline here. Um, so they don't really want to fight over here. They'd rather uh, fight over over around here where it's uh, a bit flatter. Our, our team actually has an advantage on this map. So That's why Earth is leaving Barkley Man kind of uh, undefended over here. So I don't think he really knows what's up because he's like moving into it. He probably thinks, oh, well, you know, none of these units can really beat Phalanx Pikeman from the front, so I'm probably safe. But if we pause here, he's already got the Frightened by Elephants penalty. And um, he's probably also got the Frightened by Berserkers penalty. So these units should already be, uh, be pretty vulnerable. So right now I'm just going to flank around with my Chosen Axeman. I want to make it so that some of these units might eventually get the Concerned Over Exposed Flanks penalty. I popped these Berserkers a little too early. They're going right into the front of uh, of these Phalanx Pikemen. That's not good. These games are a little bit laggy, so it's hard to have like optimal, optimal control. Also, I didn't really even need to pop the Berserkers at all. That was probably a mistake. Um, because what I should have done is actually save them for a later opponent. Um, so yeah, I've got my Cav coming in. This Cav didn't really get a great charge, but here's a big mistake that he had. He's, he had these Illyrian mercenaries, and so I charged them, and I know that they would break to my Gothic Cav because Illyrian mercenaries suck in melee, but what's happened is uh, now he's got an additional penalty, which is um, uh, allied or friendly units routing. So. Now what we're going to see is uh, this entire formation just start to basically uh, go up in smoke. So yeah, now we've got three units, uh, sorry, four units routing, and five units. Now we've got Pila coming in, and it's just it's just going to uh, crumble extremely quickly. This unit routed. This unit won't last long. This unit's broken. And now you can see everything. It's just, they're not even fighting for a second. They're just getting completely eviscerated here. Now if I had saved these Berserkers, 
that would have been really really good because those can do a lot, ton of damage to uh, to the enemy. But unfortunately, I I use my berserkers, which was stupid because their their fear effect uh, comes into play even if they they don't go into berserk mode. But yeah, we're basically just uh, slaughtering what's left of these Thracians. So yeah, that's how you uh, that's how you make a faction disappear in like twenty seconds. So moving on, now there's uh, Earth is all clumped up because he didn't expect his uh, flank to get overrun that quickly. So Earth is now in full retreat. So we're attacking these urbans in the rear with uh, two different types of fear units plus my cav is coming into strike. So um, Earth is also going to get mass routed here. And my cav is going to come in and mop up these Earthish units. So I think you guys can see where this is going. This is going to be a pretty high kill game for our, my Germanic forces. Basically, I'm going to try to get as close to the 3000 mark as I can get because that's sort of like the uh, legendary number. If you if you have a really really good game, you get 3000 kills. That's probably uh, you know like a one in a hundred game. So, or it's it's actually probably rarer than that actually. But uh, yeah, these units have been basically eliminated. And so the next target is uh, Mars. Okay, so you can see my allies have rushed Mars and they're overrunning him over here. But uh, Mars is, is doing a decent job of holding out. So what I'm gonna do is, in this commotion, I'm gonna sneak my calf in the rear and try to get a wedge charge right down the line here and that will get me in on this action as well so I've got to say I'm really really pleased with how the game's gone so far so we'll see uh, what this charge can do even though my cav is very tired well lucky for me this charge is pretty darn effective because attacking units in the rear that are already losing and already have uh, fear units nearby is very effective. So we've eliminated Mars, we eliminated Earth, uh, and we eliminated Barkley Man. The only person left is Lando over here. So if we're going to uh, kill Hor as hard as possible, we've got to make a beeline for Lando and see if we can uh, get in on the Lando party as well. Lando is uh, making uh, charge on my axeman here. He's going uphill a little bit. So he's going to lose a lot of calf uh, that way. And I figure, okay, well, the game's almost over. over. I may as well uh, use my axes for something. So I'm just going to send them, send them in and uh, hope to kill as much of Lando's forces as I can. He's going to actually start the start the action over here with a calf charge. Not sure this is the wisest calf charge, but I mean, there's really nothing you can do. It's like four versus one at this point. So uh, yeah, Lando's making a, a glory charge uphill here. And I'm attacking him in the flank with my Axeman. And I'm gonna charge downhill with my uh, with my cavalry, or actually maybe I don't because I think charging frontally into into urbans is bad with uh, with exhausted calves. So I'm gonna want to get a rear charge here. But uh, Lando is gonna successfully kill a lot of my axes because uh, a few axe units can't take on a whole Roman army. But luckily now these uh, elephants have started to get involved. But yeah, my axe force is kind of uh, kind of getting trashed. But uh, I'm going to get a really nice charge in here 
into the uh, into the rears of some of these urbans that are fighting ele elephants. And it's going to be a charge through, which is really nice. So this whole formation is going to break all at once, just like everybody else um, did. It's really rare that you, you get an opportunity to mass route uh, four different armies uh, individually. Um, kind of a crazy game. But yeah, now you can see we're pouring it in. Uh, basically, uh, Lando's entire force has been taken out. And so that's pretty much the game. All right, guys, so uh, I ended up with 2,975 kills. Pretty good, but uh, 25 short of where I wanted to be. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I, I hope you enjoyed.